Hello, my name is Dennis Crespo. I'm the Director of Marketing for Vision and Imaging for uh, the Tensilica DSP Group at Cadence. And I'm here to talk about the uh, new Vision P6 and some of the key uh, aspects that have changed over the Vision P5, which we just announced uh, six months ago. So there's some significant changes here. Uh, the first one is in the Multiply Accumulate performance, and this is uh, what we call Max. Uh, in the previous generation, our Vision P5 uh, had 64 max per cycle uh, peak that it can achieve, uh, which was very competitive and today is, is one of the highest uh, performing uh, DSPs on the market. But we've upgraded that significantly to 256 max per cycle uh, with the Vision P6. And this is to really align with the new industry trends uh, for CNN type applications or neural networking type applications. Uh, that are running in the embedded domain. So uh, there are initiatives from Google uh, that we're aligning with and, and other uh, providers uh, that are providing CNN networks to do object detection and facial recognition and people detection and all kinds of uh, different uh, sorts of object classification. So now we have roughly 4x the performance or up to 4x the performance uh, in, the, in the key multiply accumulate area. Uh, for CNN specifically, we've enhanced the instruction set for the Vision P6, uh, so uh, we can do convolutions directly from the instruction set, and we don't have to convert to matrix multiplies, though we can do those as well, but we have a, a much more efficient way of doing convolutions directly uh, using the uh, multiply accumulate uh, uh, functions uh, in a single cycle or a single instruction. So uh, Vision P5 did not have that, so these are new additions. And so uh, we have the CNN ISA instructions here uh, built in uh, for the Vision P6. In terms of software compatibility, we had a tremendous amount of software for the Vision P5 uh, from ourselves and from third parties and our customers. Uh, that's all preserved uh, because the basic ISA instruction set for the Vision P6 is the same as the Vision P5 with some additional uh, uh, instructions added. So all the software that exists today will just run on the Vision P6 directly if it was engineered for the Vision P5. Now a big bonus to that uh, is that we've also done some slotting improvements in our VLIW machine uh, to allow our compiler to more efficiently uh, utilize the hardware. And so all the code running on the Vision P5 will now get a 10 to 20 percent improvement in, in performance just by recompiling to the Vision P6. Uh, architecture. So that is a huge uh, improvement right out of the box for our customer base and our partner ecosystem. So in terms of software, we have a good compatibility story uh, with the Vision P5 and the Vision P6 together. In terms of imaging, uh, the Vision P6 uh, is not only a great CNN engine, but it also will do all the front-end imaging work that is needed for the filtering stages, uh, for the region of interest processing, uh, for the selective search type algorithms, um, so it's a single uh, DSP that'll do great CNN performance for object detection as well as imaging performance for image preparation before you do object detection. And that's all built into a single uh, DSP core. So that is the Vision P6 uh, feature set, uh, the, some of the key features that we've added, and uh, we're looking forward to the next Whiteboard Wednesday. Thank you very much.